My name is James Kaufman, and I'm a professor of educational psychology at the NEAG School of Education at the University of Connecticut. I study creativity, and what I find sometimes the most fun about creativity is just when you think you have a handle on it, stuff keeps shifting and there are new studies, new discoveries. And one example of this is when I wrote the original Creativity 101, I covered creativity and personality. And it was really kind of straightforward in some ways in that there are five factors of personality. There's openness to experience, conscientiousness, emotional stability, agreeableness, and extroversion. By and large, openness to experience correlates with creativity more than any other factor and across all different creativity types, all different creative domains. Other factors were more inconsistent, so conscientiousness, sometimes yes, sometimes no, less for artistic, more for science. And in revising Creativity 101, producing this rather similar looking book, and yet different, it made me delve into the area of personality more. And a lot of the recent work is starting to split the factors. So instead of just saying, oh, somebody's open to new experiences, they're splitting it. And a lot of this work is by Colin DeYoung and some other people. And the idea is that you can be experientially open. In other words, I like to try new things. I want to eat new foods and travel and you know, maybe some sensation seeking, go bungee jumping if people still do that anymore. And the other is more intellectual. I like debating. I like philosophical thoughts. I like going to museums. And that even though these both fall under openness to experience, they're also different. And there's been a couple of really interesting recent studies by Scott Barry Kaufman, by Paul Sylvia, by other people that have shown that, yes, you know, openness to experience is connected to creativity, but the experiential openness, the part where you want to do new things, is more associated with artistic creativity. And the intellectual creativity, where you want to think and debate, is more associated with scientific creativity. This is one of those examples to me where we had found wisdom, you know, and an established believed thought, and it turned out to be correct, but there's more to the story. And that, yes, you can look at it this way, but you can also crack it open to look at it a whole different way. And that's one reason why I love studying creativity.